more squids. I'll say this for exploring on dogback, or wolfback, whatever. It's really, really fast. Cool, it's this hill that comes up all the way to the clouds. Huh. Okay, I gotta remember this. Hmm. I think I could give the terrain a minute to load. Okay. Still kinda loading, but it's mostly there. Is that pumpkin? No, it's dirt. Okay. That was a pumpkin all by itself. But this is cool. I gotta remember this. Okay, so down, right, the very bottom of the map is this very high area. That's really cool. Okay. Oops, enough looking at that. that, this map is explored. Okay. So now... Hmm. Let's see. I n the problem here at this point is I need to get to my other base. My nether tunnel. And... I don't know. Ooh, pumpkin. All by itself. <laughs> Interesting. I don't really know where my nether base comes out. All I know is it's um it's down down <laughs> south a ways. And the bit to the east, I guess, if north is up on these things. Um, so I think I'm going to have to do a bit of exploring on foot. Because unfortunately, dogs can't go through nether tunnels. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> well, specifically, they can't go through nether portals. So, hmm. Anyway, almost back. Here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna try to go through another tunnel with my dog. If that doesn't work, I'll go through without my dog and see how it goes. Come on. There we go. Okay. Whoa! Alright. As much as I don't want to, I'm gonna have to light this up. skeleton spawning in my door system. Well, on the one hand, it certainly makes my door, get my gatehouse a bit more threatening. But on the other hand, it is completely and utterly unacceptable. So... <laughs> Alright. So let's come down here. I wonder if I ever showed that. Um, yeah. I think I showed that. Well, anyway, it's pistons on the top and bottom, and now I use the floodgate mod to, um, because these, this block and this block aren't real stone, they're floodgate mod blocks. So, anyway. Yeah, I didn't do that. Alright. I must leave you, dog.
but hopefully I will see you again shortly. Now sit. Alright, I'll be back. To another. super speed. Otherwise this would take way too long. <laughs> no zombie pigment. Usually I get zombie pigmen and I can kill them for their pork, their cooked pork that they drop, but oh well. I guess it's just a straight run to the tower. I actually came up with a use for my nether tower, believe it or not. Um, future versions of... I'm missing a block. <laughs> um, in 1.0 there's the uh, stuff that you can grow in the nether, the nether wart, I believe it's called, that you use then to make health potions. So, ah, there you go. Anyone else? Yeah, that's all? Cool. I think they usually all see it. There they go. They spawn in the higher level. Oh, I'm tough. Very good. Is now full. Should have thought of that before I came here. Oh. Drop the fish. I, I think I have the suspicion that I'm gonna end up with a lot of fish. Uh, where is my portal? I can't remember which level did I put it on. Here it is. And the next level up is rough. All right. For a second there, I was like, what? See, now this map, I don't... Just notice I have... I'm down to half a heart of health. I don't know how that could happen. Off of this video. Oh well. Alright, so this is my nether map, which I is. This is my older map. Now I'm going to make a map here. So the center of this map will be... Now I know for a fact that to get to my main area, I need to go, let's see here, it's dash 71, dash 67, so I need to go that way and that way. So I need to go this way. Alright, so I'm gonna go that way. Which translates quite nicely to that way. Well, that's convenient. Okay. Get rid of that. Diamond swords. Hmm. <coughs> See if I need to go this way. <coughs> well, I can see, but 
uh, no, probably won't be able to be really seen when it gets to YouTube. Yep, hello skeleton. Y'all are gonna have to try harder than that if you're gonna hit me. Oh, here's chicken. If I could just find... Spider, that will do. Sheep, which I'm not going to, but if I found some sheep, then... I could just, uh... Basically, am I gonna find 12 string or 3 wool faster? Now there's another. There's more spiders over there. Maybe go that way. Everything I'm seeing everything but sheep. This rate, I'm gonna have the 12 string I need. I'm up to, I'm up to four. Running low on arrows all of a sudden, though. Hmm. There's something that just occurred to me. I might not uh, be close enough that a map made it my nether base and a map made it my original base would match. That would be frustrating. Huh. Huh. Heh. <laughs> Bet if that sand falls, it would block off the lava. Let's break it out from underneath the sand before it falls. Wow, that is a sheer cliff. Huh. Problem is, I'm gonna have to re explore all this area <laughs> once I can actually see where I'm going. Because I can't see very far in front of my face. But according to this, I'm still heading in the general direction of my base. Oh no, you don't. But I'm getting the strong feeling that I'm not gonna find my base or find myself on my other map as soon as I get to the edge of this map. Which means something. So, the moon's about to go down. Or sun, yeah, the sun's coming up. Check it out. Cool. That kind of really actually helps at this moment. I hear you, creeper. Creeping behind that tree. I know, 
all your tricks. There's, there's a zombie over there. Creeper over here. Spin around and shoot the zombie, and I lost the zombie. That would have been awesome if I had done that right. Another red mushroom. Two red mushrooms, not nice. Okay. So now at the corner of the map, almost. Huh, I did instant water. Ooh, reeds. That's useful. Doesn't look like there's enough, though, to make another map. Plus, I don't have any redstone on me. Hmm. I did not think that I would need more than one map. I just thought that I could make a map and the two maps would connect perfectly. So you do have not quite thought this through enough. Um, although I guess I can try it, see what happens. Your problem, I don't have a boat. I could make a boat. Yeah. That's why I thought there's another map. The problem is if I make a map here, where I am, it will overlap. I suppose that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but if I can come this way a bit farther, I'll decrease the overlap, hopefully. Definitely seeing some new territory here. Yeah, I'm off the maps. Hmm. However, still according to this, I'm still heading in the right direction. <coughs> All right, I think I'll make that boat. Except I don't have anywhere to. Feathers go. <laughs> Pretty far down. Oh well. Right. Um. No, I need to go that way. Yeah, something like this. Strange, because I did this before. I'm trying to remember, because I know I had to run from my other base to my main base before, and I didn't do any of this. You know, looks like this won't get me very far. Oh well, I tried. So I'm trying to remember. Ooh. Really, that was fast. Because um. I think it was, oh, sheep. I think it was like part 17. Oh, I don't have any shears on me. 
Well, let's not gonna do this hard way. Um, it was part 17, I believe, where I went from my um, nether base to my main base in the overworld. Skeleton nearby. Um, let's see here. Actually, went a little bit too far. I'm thinking what I did is I went to like dash 67 or something. If I could, I'd make one right here. But I don't have stuff on me. So now, because according to this, if I go directly, this will take me directly to my base. So. Oh, I know what I'll do. Hold on, hold on. I had a brilliant idea. So there's this tree here, right? Uh, that's just seven, yeah. Right, this tree here. This is the marker tree. Let's put it there. That way, if I ever come here again, I'll know it. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so I don't have any fall damage immunity anymore. Unfortunately. Which, you know what's kind of funny? I don't think I... I think my boots had worn out in part 17 when I was going back to this area. And if this is a snow-capped peak, I'm thinking it is. Where? Ah! Good. I'll be able to make that bed. Good. I'll leave the rest of your sheep alone. Alright, what do we got? Is this a cliff? Well, it's sort of a cliff. I think I recognize this area. Um. Because <laughs> I know that I had to go through a snowy area in part 17 as well. Hmm. I'll have to look up maps and see how big of an area they encompass and then see if I can estimate how many maps I'll need to make to go... Because I'd like to be able to fully map the path of the in the overworld that I have to take to get from one base to the other. Yeah, this is... yeah. It's funny, because I explored this area last time at night. <coughs> Part 17 was mostly done at night. Whereas this is done at day. Mostly. So, I think there's a spider here as well last time. But, um... So this is cool, I'm getting to see in day the stuff that I had formerly... Yeah, because remember I went along that edge up there. It was about here where I realized my wolf wasn't following me. That was before I trained it. <coughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. I can't jump. That's a problem. And yes, I know I'm getting kind of far to the side, up to, up to 105, but I've got another 400 blocks to move back on, so I'm okay. But yeah, I am gonna, now that I'm back to the top of the hill, I'm gonna start working my way back to the dash 67. Whoa, okay. Or I won't. <laughs> am I on the map yet? Not quite. <coughs> I think the biggest thing is looking to see where I come out onto the map. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's starting to get dark again. Starting to get hustling. No. Here. 
Oh, oh, I'm on the map. Huh. Interesting. So my nether tunnel is actually... <coughs> Ow. Not complaining about the free iron, though I could have found it without... Well, I wish I could have found it without smacking my face into it. Uh, got the arrows. I'm really close to my base. I can get more. So, I actually went off my map that way. Huh. Eh, I gotta get back to my base. It's getting dark. I'm wondering if I can retrace my steps in reverse. Hmm. Problem, of course, if I do that is I'll have to come back that way. Hmm. Because the other because I won't be able to get my dog back to the other tunnel, so I'll have to take my dog all the way there and then all the way back again. But the speed is so high, I might just do it regardless. Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna just make it in time here. It's probably what I'll do. So it's actually oh that's that strange. I was expecting to come up come from the top right corner, not the side like that. Interesting. Huh. Alright. So it's getting dark. Zombie over there. And I don't have any more speed on my leggings. First things first. The first thing I need to do is dump this stuff I have in my inventory. Nineteen gunpowder. That's a lot of gunpowder. I'm still hanging out of that stuff because I want to find a uh Another dog. Alright, I'm gonna put my nether map over there. I'm gonna bring my shears, because that was just annoying. Um, well, instead of bringing my shears, which only have that one purpose, I could just, I don't know, bring a bed. <laughs> I'm thinking I will. Except, hmm. Debating, debating. I'll leave it for now. Um, this is a good map. This is the map of my nether base. So if I can get out of this map, then I know. So this actually gives me a large margin of error. I'm tempted to just sort of aim in the general direction of this map and see if I can't get to it just by going that way. Right, go this way to, th yeah, because I'm kind of tempted to dig a tunnel, a tunnel would take a long time. Hmm, I wonder how I should do this. Mostly I think I should just go there again. Hmm, alright, while well, I'm thinking about this, I'll put my, oh, let's see, hmm. Why not? 
I'm gonna charge my nano suit in my backpack. Because why not? Nice. Right there. Now let's see here. Toss this in the macerator. And get off the chest. Um oh yeah. Pumpkin up there. Ladder can go there. Hmm. I need to think. Right, well this part has reached 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to cut it here. When I return for part 30, I will work some more on the exploring. See you then! Only I could vaporize that annoying pig from here.